Having a strong voice allows people to be more interesting and confident in conversations. But contrary to what people think, developing a strong personal voice isn't something that entirely comes with time. Here, we're not talking about just the physical voice, but also having an expressive personality that allows us to be freely who we are. There's some subtle habits from our upbringings that had good intentions, but is really holding us down from showing our real and true personality. Now let's get into the details of how to develop a strong personal voice. The first aspect to understand is that talking is not a performance. Having this misunderstanding caused a lot of people to put way too much pressure onto talking to someone and really feeling like people are critiquing every single word they say. And this tremendous amount of pressure would prevent most people from talking normally. But this is really far from reality because rarely do people notice and remember every single action or things that we say because they're more focused on their own life and their own plans and ideas. I mean, most people can't recall the exact conversations they had like a week from now. So don't make it a performance because people aren't even paying attention. Or you could just go to a lecture class and see how many people are paying attention. But there's also another very important fact to address here, that we don't talk to people mainly to make them happy. You see, talking is more like a connection between two people, so that they will feel understood and seen by each other. Make it a performance, and you'll feel really fake and probably even more isolated than before. But you can't develop your own personality without this next concept, which is unsilencing your preferences. There are people in our lives that intentionally or unintentionally has taught us to subconsciously put aside our own preferences. I know this might not seem like a very big deal at first, but when someone constantly tells us what to do or speaks for us, over time, their voice starts to really replace our voice. Then gradually, we start to feel like a shell of ourselves with no personality. It conditioned us to not think about things for ourselves, but waiting for someone else to tell us what to do. So this is why we had to reverse that and start noticing our preferences. And having preferences leads to opinions, and opinions then leads to personality. Another way to develop a strong voice, sounds kind of weird, but it's believing in what you say. And this has nothing to do with what you say, but how you say it. If you don't feel like you belong in the conversation or you feel too self-conscious about what you say, then you can start to feel your voice becoming softer and sometimes a little shaky. But when you speak like you believe it, you can feel your voice becoming a lot more firm and it gives that solid voice feel. And this plays a huge part in terms of showing that you're confident and really proud to be who you are. When I say, I want strawberries, Versus, I want strawberries. Can you feel that slight change in tonality? That's kind of what you're looking for. With that being said, the last tip has a lot to do with the practical sides of talking to people, which is change. Because there are a lot of unexpected things that goes on in conversations, like maybe a random joke or new people jumping into a conversation. And then for most people, in new situations, if we're really blindsided or we are afraid of it, we freeze up. But confident people, they don't change even when the environment changes because they have already accepted that change is going to happen and they're not blindsided by it. Accepting things before they happen allows them to maintain their personality and talk as normal even when things have been different. So next time, anticipate the change and accept it before it has even happened. If you have found this video helpful, you can click that like button and subscribe. If you have questions or comments, you can just post them in the comment section. And I will talk to you guys next time.